Okay, so we're going to show you guys today how to measure for one of our Mandalorian flak vests. I'm Luella, and this is Brian, the other half of Enlos that you see popping in and out occasionally or correcting my grammar. <laughs> or making trouble and mischief wherever we go. So if you look to this direction, not beyond this coffee cup, you can see I put in the... Uh, Yeah, that, no, nope, that. It's backwards. Yes, it is backwards. <laughs> yeah, everything goes in reverse. So, on this side we have our checklist for the uh, measuring. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure Brian here as an example so that you guys understand what, what all the things start with. So we're going to start with one and work our way down to number 13. Yes, this is an updated one. We have another number on there. What? This one goes to 13. Yes, it goes to 13. So the things you're going to need. You're going to need to either print this out or write, or at least have it on something that you can see so you can know what numbers go to which. You need a pen. And you need a measuring tape. A real one. One of these types. Not one that you use for measuring houses. What? Nothing. Okay, smart bet. All right, so we're going to start with neck circumference. And this is where I should have brought a little table to sit stuff on. I'll just go on the right. Really? Let me get a table. Oh, okay, or you can set it on the ground and hope Andrew doesn't run into it. Okay, so neck circumference. Go right around. Neck is a 15. You want to be, it's basically the same size as what you guys' collars would be. Let me write 15. Shoulder to neck. You want to go from the edge of the shirt collar to the actual shoulder. Okay, good point. <laughs> oh, helping. <laughs> so from here to here, the base of the neck to the edge of the shoulder, for him is a 7. That's normal. Anywhere between like a six to eight is a normal size-ish. It's okay if you're outside that range. There's no problem with that. We can deal with, we can totally work with that. Um, it's just, if you get something really wacky, like 14, you probably measured somewhere wrong. Or you have really, really, really big shoulders. <laughs> okay, shoulder to shoulder, turn around, sweetie. Stop! Yeah, there! <sighs> so we're going to go from one shoulder to the other. His is 20. So as you can see, we're going from one to the other. Alright, you can turn back around to face the camera. <laughs> now, always remember, when doing these measurements, wear what you're going to wear underneath the flak vest. If you're wearing Stylish long line cardigan. <laughs> Stylish five years ago. Yeah, it's not that old. Yeah, but it was out of style. Oh, okay. Uh, if you're going to be wearing like the flight suit, that's going to add some extra bulk. And this is where you're going to really notice it when you start measuring the chest area. If you're going to wear the skin tight <laughs> bodysuit, that's going to probably take it a little smaller because spandex compresses. Okay, so chest circumference. <laughs> Go underneath the arms, all the way around. Okay, and breathe in. Okay, 38 and a half. You can let go of your breath. I always do mine on the taking the whole breath so that we make sure you can breathe in your cosplay. Next is waist circumference. Now, your waist is where your belly button is. There's my belly button. <laughs> That's the belly button, opposed to where the pants line is. That's your natural waist. This is the waist you want. Okay, Urkel. <laughs> yeah, so your belly button. Now we're going to go around again. Find the what's your waist. Have the measuring tape at the right end. And we've got 34. 
<laughs> this is what makes a difference when wearing the cardigan or not. The cardigan adds add some some measurements to it. Thirty-three. <laughs> yes, but this is where your waist is. I know you don't. You wear them where everyone else generally wears them here. But this is your waist. This should be the belly button measurement. So much help. I'm not adding another line. Look, look. See the picture? It has it on the belly button. <laughs> it's not. Oh, yeah. you, you were so much help. Yeah. I love you anyway. Upper arm circumference. So you take the muscle and flex. <laughs> oh, oh, the cardigan's coming off. And getting stuck in my tape measure. Uh, you were at twelve and three quarters. Okay, you want to turn around, this is the last back measurement, this is the back of the neck to the waist. This allows me to make sure that we've got the, the back area the right length. So you put it at the back of the neck, to the base of the neck, down to the waist, which in this case is the back side of the pants. So that's 21. So from here to here is the measurement I need on this. Turn back around, and this is the one of the other very important parts on the front is where you want it to stop in the front. Now there's a variety of different rules that work here. So depending on how you're setting up your Mandalorian, whether you're using a girth belt or if you're doing uh, a different method of how you're doing your midsection will depend on where you want it to end. It <laughs> tickles! <laughs> so we're gonna go we're gonna go with like a Django style which is a shorter style and we're gonna end it around your belly button so that's a 70. Christina Aguilera style. Yes, the <laughs> Christina Aguilera style, yeah I guess so. <laughs> You want your midsection showing. If you want it to be a little bit lower and come down lower, just make that measurement lower. This allows me to know where you want it to stop. Okay. So the following ones after this are do you want a Django style or other that? The measurement from top to bottom will help me understand if that's what you want. But I also want to double check. I love double checking numbers. Do you want a side zipper that would go here, or a back zipper? Do you want an attached neck seal or an unattached neck seal? And then what color do you want? If you, on the web page, we have our entire color sheet. You just need to tell me which number you want. And then number 13 is if you want a 1.0, next seal or a 2.0 where do you want it to dip down in the front or go straight across now <laughs> stop that <laughs> see it, it, it's, it's like, like crossing your eyes your mom always says you know your face will get your eyes will get stuck that way oh i always miss that memo okay um if you want additional things like elastic sides, we can do that. If you want lace-up sides, we can do that too. We just need that would be in the additional comments. What? Like lacy sides, like <laughs> a little lacy number. Now offering Mandalorian lingerie. <laughs> that's gonna have to happen now. <laughs> I, I think I think that's already someone already has that one. <laughs> So why do we need all of these measurements? I'll show you. Yeah, I'm here. He's all stuck to this guy. Hmm? Are you gonna pin this on me? No, I'm not gonna pin it directly to you. Unless you really want me to. 
I don't think we like getting back the fence. So these are my patterns. They are highly adjustable to what I need it to be set at. Right now it's set for a person that is substantially larger than Brian, but that's okay. We can still play with this. Right now, it comes all the way over to this side. Pull that back. As you can see, we have a lot of excess. Asymmetrical closure in the back. It's all the rage. Yeah, totally but all those measurements that I just got will dictate how wide this needs to be, how high up this needs to be, if you want it to be higher or lower, depending on tightness to see if this needs to be up here or if it needs to be looser. All those different things are, I'm told, I get that information from the measurements. So our, neck, our flat vest come in, attach next to you. Or unattached. And it's it becomes completely separate. And this is a 2.0, so we've got the curve down, whereas this one's a 1.0. Where it's straight. So if you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, hopefully you found this video to be informational and help with learning how to measure for a flat vest. Uh, if you We'd love to get your order, so thank you for watching, and uh, our links are below. Thank you, and have a lovely day. And, you, you, you know, taking the hanger out of it helps. Nope. Oh, this is what I live with, and I love him still. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> oh.